on to another part of Fatal Frame 3. This time, we're gonna be looking into our notes, because I didn't bother to do that last time. Need to fix that right fucking now. Skewered dolls. Inside the manor in the courtyard, treaded by corridor, was a tree wrapped in sacred rope. Man stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. Neat! According to an old book, folklore, practice belongs to an old folk cult. There's the mountains, the vine, the village, the human, function protective deities, or amulets. Neat. It's all the border. What is there in that courtyard beyond the door? We don't know yet. In the rope house for Miku's dream, you know, the one we've been seeing. The corridor is hung with rope, the blood altar, the one torn apart. It's like that place from fucking Fatal Frame 1. Miku's memory of these things. The place someone connected to the Miku and her brother? Quite possibly. Anyway, people, Miku, uh, you know, our assistant, she's been in the dreams world looking for Mafuyu. Of course, she hasn't had much good luck. Uh, she's been so cheerful and strong. Stong, sorry, cheerful and strong. What happened to her in the past? Is she still ruined by what happened? Just like us. Begging for help. The girl who called Miku back when she tried to live her dream. Your brother is here in a sad, mournful voice, she said. Miku was stunned by what she heard. And lastly, Kei Amakura. So, this is Yu's friend who is also researching the manor, and, you know, looking into the urban legend, and now he's in, having the same fucking dream, apparently. All because he was trying to look for his niece, niece Neo, uh, who is a prisoner of the dreams. But now he's stuck in there, and he has to try to find a way out of it. Which is, guess what? What we're doing in this part, because we're playing as K. Neat! So this is our third and final playable character, and... Hey, look at Ghost. Got him. So yeah, we should not go this way because that way is death. We should go this way instead. And over here by the stairs will be a door with, guess what? Crimson fucking butterflies. And right behind this door that's locked from where Mia could be is a butterfly lock. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of uh, fucking Fatal Frame 2 references, so... You know, this is the Fatal Frame 2 section, you know, it's all connected. I mean, Fatal Frame 1 and 2 didn't connect themselves that well, but Fatal Frame 3? Oh, everything's getting connected. Oh, see, you hear, you hear that little noise? Like someone playing a little guitar. Also, have a medicine here. I feel it's coming from this door right here. Let's see. Yep, it's getting louder. Alright, what's on the pillow? Oh, beside the Kodo. Purple Diary. How many days has it been? Months? Years? Many outsiders have brought here, but none of them are like him. He said my hair is beautiful, but no matter how I arrange it, he'll probably never know how I feel. Aww. All I can do is comb my hair and wait. That way, when he comes to take my pic with his camera, it's like a picture of me again. Okay, so Purple Diary number one. How dark. There's a mirror here. It's fucking fucked. And not only that, but there's also a bunch of hair around here and a holly. I don't know what that means, but there's a holly here. And it's important, but I don't grab it for some reason. There's a door over here which we can try to open. We can't. It's locked for strange luck, as you'll say. And it's great with holly as well. Hmm. Uh oh. Okay, for this ghost, we have to take a picture of her in between these fucking clothes. Yeah, this one's a little awkward to try to take a picture of the bitch in between the kimonos because we can't duck down. We have to like aim like this, and it's weird and awkward. I don't like it much, but if you can get just right, you can get the picture. And if we go around the corner. Now begins the hiding. The whole point of K's levels is centered around stealth. Because a lot of the ghosts for him, you cannot fight against. So, what we have to do is we have to hide and wait, usually, for the right opportunity to get somewhere or to get something. And for us, it's to get that fucking key. Because now we can actually get it from the area. The holly pattern. Or the holly hairpin, I mean. 
So now that we have this, we have to run the fuck back, because that ghost will return here, and if we don't get the hell out, she will start attacking us, and we don't have the goddamn camera to fight it, so we gotta go. And there you go. And with that, we can now enter inside, and we're safe. The Woman of Comb. Might as well go ahead and read it. So in the notes, we have Woman of Comb. Inside the room, decorated with kimonos and locked from the inside is a ghost of long flowing hair. Alright. Around the mirror stand, clumps of her hair have been pinned to the wall. Neat. Had she been waiting for someone there all that time? Apparently. But it wasn't us, I don't think. I mean, we have a camera, but we're not the right guy. Now, she is kind of still there. This is still the same room, but we didn't... We went for that door, so we're kind of safe. The ghost isn't really around now, in a way. Unless we got caught. In that case, then we would have been fucked, but we're safe right now. And now we're outside here. There's no ghosts around here. We have a safe point, so I'm going to utilize that right now. Now then... In order to make any kind of progress, we're going to be needing to go to the door on the left side, uh, over to the hallway. And we're going to need to, like, move all the way over. I believe this will take us back to the projector. We do have a film, the unknown film. This way will take us to a quarter we can't open up yet, and to that, uh, that area that... I do know that in the dream areas that we've been to, one of our characters... Uh, ended her dream in there, so, you know, that's fun. But, uh, for us, we don't go there at all. For us, we're going down this way, over to a hallway, and we're going to the projector room to, uh, you know, get a nice little bit of, uh, medicine, which is over in that room over there, which I decided to miss the first time for some reason. And, uh, we'll also use the film, the unknown film, to see what's inside the film. What exactly is the unknown film that we grabbed beforehand? We're about to find out. The problem is, there are still moments where the game gives us random ghosts. And even though I really want to take a picture of a secret ghost that I know is around here. Uh, cause it's kind of obvious in a sense at this point, And the game makes it obvious. Uh, the problem is... Yeah. This bitch comes in, and I can't fight back, so I have to run. The good news is, going for a door will usually cause the ghosts to fuck off, so doors are our safe keepings. Doors will keep us safe. And yeah, see the blue? That gives us a signal, and there it is. That's a hidden ghost. Alright, let's see what's in that film, shall we? Unknown. What is it? Yep, play it. Uh... It's the projector room. There's flashes of someone jumping around, which isn't good. She's standing there now. Okay, then. Um. Well, inside of here, we do know that there is a Type 14 for us. But. Yeah. Um. Let's just leave now. Uh, we went to uh, that top door. Let's go to this door back over to the hallway area. Yeah. This area. Okay, so. We do know there's a branching path around here, and I don't really know where to go at this point, so I checked the map, and there are a few paths we can go to. Uh, we could go back upwards, which we can, but we shouldn't do right now. What we need to do is actually go downwards into the um, that little end of the hallway area. There's a ghost down here. However, in order to get that guy, I have to run around the corner and quickly take a picture of him, which the time frame for that is so bullshit that I wasn't going to get him anyway, so... 
Game is still pulling some bullshit fucking ghosts out of its ass, and I'm not a fan of it. But you know what's worse? When you get down to this door over here and this happens. We can't fight her. And that's that's not just because I have the fucking camera. We can't fight this ghost. So we have to hide. And I don't I don't think I'm in a good hiding spot. I'm there's kind of a gap with my arm. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So yeah, the uh the fucking stealth thing. All we have to do is just hide behind here, wait for her to get past us, and we'll be fine. Of course, we do have to wait a good bit until the bitch actually gets over here. You can at least tell by how loud the voice starts to get. Pretty loud voice. Not as loud as my one, though. No. <laughs> and I think now is a good about time to start running. Yep, she's coming. Run, run, run. Okay, get to the door, we'll be safe. It's the wrong door, but it's a door, so it will get rid of the ghost at least. So yeah, now we're back here. We don't need to be back here though. We need to um, go over to that door on the right, yeah. Because this one would lead us back up there. We don't want to go there. Oh, we want to go into there, to the hall. So let's just get out. The ghost is gone though, so we are safe for the time being. Just run this way and into this door. Now the problem is... There's this guy. I'm not going that way. I'm going down this way to get the film. So, once I get that film, I need I do need to come back there, and I can't take a picture of that guy and get some points, luckily. Uh, but, we have to go near him. And then we have two options. We can juke him, or we can just run back to the door, open it, go through, and then get back in the room, and he'll be gone for good. Now, we can't fight this guy, either. So... There is no point in joking. It would just hurt us. I'm gonna see a thousand point. He'll stay there, by the way, until we get near him. In which an event will start. And we have to. We have to piss this guy off and then get the fuck out. Alright, so... Either we can go and see what he's looking at. Or we get out and then get back in and then we'll be fine. My honest opinion on this is don't bother juking, just fucking run. Right, here he comes. Run downstairs, run over here, and to the door. And just like that, he's gone. So, now we can get back and we can see what exactly he was just staring at. Because it is an item, and we do need it right now. It's important that we get this right now. So we'll go upstairs, go around the corner. And over here on the shelf, there are a few little things, including, under some cloth, the camera obscura. There's about three of them, apparently. Not only that, but there is also a book wrapped in it, which is the Folklore Notes. It's been nearly half a month since I entered the mansion. It's still snowing outside. Once snow melts, we'll be part of from Kyoka, and most likely we'll never be able to return. Men are not needed in the manor. Next, I can run away, but if possible, I'd like to take Kyoka with me. Sometimes worshippers from nearby villages come here. You know, they all cover their faces and head to shrine. Next, worshippers seemed like a woman. She was holding a child-sized bundle. She was crying. There was a lullaby. There was maybe a ceremony. It sounds like a fucking funeral. And you know what else we got? A fucking part. The slow lens. We already know about this one. It's the same one that we got last time with Miku. You know, you just press a button and it slows down the ghost movement. Uh, we won't be using that either. 
I don't know if you'll ever really be using the abilities except for moments, like later on in the game, way later. And even then, it'll only be certain lens. The slow lens, I don't think I ever find a good use for. And yeah, as you can see, our film is also limited again. We do have the 10 shots of the good stuff, but it does seem to be kind of random on what we got. So... I should be upgrading these guys, but for now, I feel like we'll be fine not upgrading these guys, uh, Miku, NK, for right now. We should later on, um, but right now we should be fine with what we got. Okay, so, it's not too obvious what we do next, but we actually need to go down into the hallway, uh, you know, where the two doors are. And then, one of the doors will actually be able to open, but we need to go and get a picture. Yeah, it's one of those doors where you have to, like, take a picture of it and it tells you where to go and take a picture of. And when you take a picture of that, then the door opens for you. So, yeah, there's a little doll right there in the middle. Now you can see it. Yep. That's the fucking mirror that we just went to beforehand to get that hairpin. We have to go back and borrow the ghost. Even with the camera obscura, we can't fight the ghost, so... Yeah, K's... K's levels are the worst when it comes to ghost hunting. Because there are moments where we can fight the ghosts. Uh, but usually you'll want to just, like, hide or avoid ghosts as best as possible throughout K's levels. It's, um... It ain't a stealth game. It really ain't a good stealth game, Fatal Frame 3. So, this shit gets awkward. And I'm not afraid to admit... That I did a little, a little practice uh, with this one. You know, I was fucking around a little bit, just practicing out. And, yeah, Kay's fucking, like, ducky and hiding thing, it's iffy at best. Oh, by the way, the ghost isn't there until we go inside the door. Yeah, the game is gonna act that way with us. See? Now we need to go over and take a picture of her. Which will cause this to happen. You said you would come back. I don't think she's happy, guys. Well, we burnt the thing. So the door's open for us. Now, we need to fucking run. I need to run real fast and keep running. Because I get caught anyway. I just keep pressing the X button and I do get lucky. Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh god, the game lagged. Oh, trust me. We're, we're letting go. We're letting go bad. Bye! Alright, let's go back to that room. And let's go over to that door that was locked beforehand, but now we can go inside. Problem, uh, get out your blue film. Because as soon as you go back here, there's a surprise. And that is two ghosts that fight. And yes, we do fight them. Please. The thing is, these guys will always be in here until you beat them. So fight them. You might notice, uh, K has the worst number when it comes to attacking. Yeah, I got fucked. But yeah, K has the worst amount of power. Two fucking slots. To be fair, it does go fast. But he's got weak fucking points going on.
He's just not a powerful shot. Also, something that was not a fatal frame. I don't know why it wasn't. I didn't know. I don't even know why I missed. That should have been a hit. But whatever. Anyway, yeah. As you can see, um. Oh, hang on, one more shot. As you can see, the KFK is much worse than any other character we've played as so far. This is kind of why you want to avoid comment with K, because he has by far the worst camera. It is the weakest in the game, in my opinion. He is supposed to be a stealth thing, not really a fighter thing. Though sometimes we'll have no choice with the fight, which makes us annoying, but still, you're not supposed to fight. Well, I got him. Let's follow him. I'm sure he doesn't mind me going real close up to him. Yep, the door is openable now, and now we'll go inside. Now, this ghost we can get, and it gives us a lot of time to get him. The problem is actually trying to get him. Now, there is an easier way of getting it from the gaps, apparently, but I think that this way of doing it is fine. It's not even to the fucking chip beforehand, and I could have gotten it there, but... Ugh. I got disappointed at that one. I got really disappointed. Game is making the ghost the hardest it's ever been. That's all I gotta say. When it comes to fighting the ghost in the free games, this game is the hardest to fucking pull off. Anyway, up the stairs we go. There are a few things I ended up dodging I shouldn't have, because I want to get to that bookshelf. But I do get to the bookshelf, and I do decide to push it over, because I am a man. And being a man, we can push shit. I mean, a female can as well, but this is that kind of game, guys. Anyway, we can now go that way, but what if I decide to go backwards? Yeah. We can't fight that guy, by the way. Instead, we're going to read some books. At the impalement time. The pain and gratitude of the tattoo priestess builds a dream and eats away at her soul. The pain or the attachment of this world is filled as a doll died in soul ink and enshrined, and then the man-maiden song must be sung and prayers must be said for the priestess to lay in rest. This impalement is the duty of the handmaiden. Neat! So that's what's happening, huh? We're, we're, we're fucking... The impalement room, fun. There's a few things around here we can have a little bit of an examination on. But the main thing here is over on this side, where there's another piece of material we can read called Taboo, the Taboo Tome. The tattooed priestess must lose all of her attachments in this world during the Rite of Commandment. For this reason, those who are entered the, the, the Kuzi Shrine must be assured to cover their face with masks and carry out the same without feeling. It is mentioned for men for men to enter the Kuze Shrine without concealing their faces in order to keep the priestess's heart from stirring. No love. Love is forbidden. So yeah, I got the time. And oh my god, that music. Okay, so I'm going to have to get over here. And it is a film. Uh, also peeling in Shrine Maiden. Nice. There it is. There's the film. Grab it. The Piercing of Soul. Nice. Okay, so one thing I have to go over and get, and it's right around here. To my right. Okay, secret object, and tiny letters. Offer oh, the show to instruction, blah, blah, blah. It's a butterfly key, baby. We can now go inside the butterfly door. But I need to go up this ladder right now, because the ghost right behind me, if I don't do this, I'm going to die. So, I'm not really going to die immediately, but still. And there you go. Look at all them hands. Look at all them fucking hands. And now we're safe. At least for a little bit. Because there is a ghost here that will try to fuck our shit up. Unless we choose the right doors. 
Luckily, the doors are right next to me, so I'll be fine. It's only the doors over here that I should not go for. And also, I have to take a picture of that. I fucked it, and I couldn't. Camera can be a bitch sometimes in trying to position myself correctly. Anyway, we should not go down that way. We should go around here and up there and take the long way in a way because then the ghost will not appear towards us to screw our day up. So what's that over there? It's important, very important that I get this for a good reason. It is one of the most useful items in the game. The Type 90 film. This is the best film in the game. It is the most powerful of all the film. It is specially sealed and has a, st a strong exercise in effect. It does the most damage and you get the least of this in the game. We only have four here and that's the first time we got our Type 90 and it's only with case so far. So he has the most powerful film right off the bat and yet he has the weakest camera. We're going to need that Type 90. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. But we're going to need that Type 90 if we get into any boss fights of K. Because seriously. K's camera is going to be weak no matter how hard I try to upgrade the fucking thing. And we're going to be fighting some bullshit probably. So we're going to need some fucking hefty film. And the Type 90 is fucking hefty. It will be our lifesaver. And it will also be a point farm in a way, if I can do it correctly. So, these other doors are kind of locked. I need to go back the way I came, and go back to the way I started. Yeah, I have to go back to the hallway now. Which means we have to go take a bit of a trek. It's gonna be fun. So, I also uh, have forgotten to look at the notes for this part, our new notes, so I'm sorry for that. But yeah, anyway, I'm just going to get this out of the way right now, uh, just for all of you guys. I'm not a fan of Kay. He's kind of the most bland of all the characters, and he's the male. I mean, yeah, our main character of the story that we've been playing as since the beginning, bit of a scared little bitch in a way, even though she's incredibly cursed. And Miku, I mean, it's Miku. We all love Miku. If you know Fatal Frame, Miku's a good character. But... This guy, K, not really. Like, this guy's just kind of bland, doesn't really have that much character. He's just kind of generic, in a way. And you don't really get much of him, do you? I mean, you get more of the mansion and the ghosts more than you do of K. With Miku, you know, you get some character out of her, and, you know... But K is just like we didn't really get a we don't really have a cutscene for K in this part. It's all just like the ghosts, really. K is just kept in this deadpan fucking face and doesn't really emote for this entire part, and it kind of makes him just the most bland out of all the characters. And he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be the most bland character of the fucking game, but... The... Anyway. We're doing there now. I don't know how to pass the fucking ghost, though. And the ghost's pissed. The ghost is very pissed off at me. Because I can hear her. Just go to that door and you'll be fine. Okay, we're nearly there. To be fair, Mio 
Mio kind of has some character. She wasn't the most character out of all the games. She was the most fucking emotional. I'll say that much, but not the most character. Um, but yeah, I mean, guess what? Mio's here. There's also like a reading material over there. I'm gonna go ahead and look at that reading material right now. Oh, just kidding. It's a lens. It's the pressure lens. What is it? Well, the pressure lens has two spirit points and it's a damage increase with a repel back. It will repel ghosts. You don't need to fail a friend to repel, so use it as an emergency escape as well. The higher it is, the more damage you inflict. This will essentially be like an escape thing. It will knock back enemies. You know, keep you safe. And yeah, there's Mio. She's right there, behind the door from Fatal Frame 2. And if I could just get this right, we're going to actually get a picture of Mio. Now, it doesn't count as a ghost. I don't think it counts as our ghostless either, but we do get a name of this one. Mio Amakura. There you go. Pretty unique, huh? Let's open this door and end the dream, because that's it for K, everybody. I hope you enjoyed him, because I didn't. <laughs> I really did not. He sucked. <sighs> well, we're awake, but I oh, don't know. Something doesn't feel right. With waking up right now. Do you, do you feel a little bit like something's off about this one? Because so far the house has also not been that safe. I don't know, the audio isn't giving me much of a good vibe so far. But, um... Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's actually fine here. Or the camera can look at the... Okay, let's go to use room then. I'm sure it'll be safe. I don't know why it's targeting use room, but... I'm sure nothing bad can happen, can it? Oh god, the closet. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll play a game. Let's see what's inside. Nothing? And it stopped. I wonder why. It's in the roof? Yep. Yep. That that wake up was actually a dream. <laughs> so we had a dream in a dream. That's quite a troll. But we're good now. 
Except we're not. We're not. Because <laughs> now we know about the, uh, the roof. Yeah. Oh, hey Miku. You seem fine. Reading your book. Nothing's there. Even though I saw the legs last time. Mm. Hey Miku, how you doing? You just have nothing else good to say, do you? And I can't even talk to you right now because you're so far inside that fucking couch that I can't actually interact with you. Great. There is one problem, though. One big fucking problem. Can you tell what it is? We have to go into use room again. We have to see... What's wrong, kitty? What's wrong? What's the matter? He just fucked off. He wasn't happy about what he saw in here. Is there something in this closet as well? Am I gonna shit my pants? No, no pants shitting today. Not even a film in here. That was weird. Well, let's see what's inside of here then. You little shit! Oh, that fucking cat. I kicked that little piece of shit in the fucking ass, aren't I? Anyway... That was a nice little bit of surprise for ya. Even though it was kind of obvious, looked up. Um, and yeah, there's the cat. In his food, being a little shit. Get your fucking cat and check Miku. Okay, let's go to use room now. Let's see what exactly is inside the roof. Because we can actually access the rooftop by going to use room and going inside the closet. Because you thought that was a dream? That little bit of opening that lets us go up to the roof? No. That was legit. We can go on the roof right now, see? So what is in here? A box. Just one box. A spirit stone radio. Okay. We dreamt a radio? When did we do that? I haven't, I haven't seen a radio. And also there's radio transmissions here as well. And previously, I saw was actively appropriate, you know, blah, 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 about the other world. It said he finally was able to com establish communication with the other world. Really now? How so? Let's see what it's all about. The radio. An other world crystal radio is in the receiver, otherwise known as Spirit Stone Radio. The Spirit Stone was a name his colleagues used later in Dr. Esso's research materials. It is usually simply referred to as the crystal. Interesting. So, the principle of the crystal radio is that it utilizes a special wave detection property of crystal to pick up the appropriate band of wavelength, and the fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties. And if you could find a, cr a special crystal, he, the thought, Perhaps he could capture signals from the other world. He the fought. It is said that his experiment was a success, and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside of that of normal broadcasting. The, it's been lost, but the associates left behind several testimonies saying they heard words of the past and words of ghosts. Now, I thought there'd be like a ghost around here because it's you would think that, right? It's in this big fucking open area of an attic, and you're thinking maybe there's a ghost here. Nah. Nah. So after wasting my time, I go back down. And now it's nighttime, because I saved the room I had yesterday, and then fade to black, and now I'm in bed. See? Nothing else to look at right now, so we're actually back to bed right now, back into sleep. Will we be in any other character's dreams, or we'll be back with Ray in her fucking dream? Let's see, folks. Let's get back to sleep.
we're back in. We're back in with Ray. And in case you're wondering, now that we're here on the sour, the ghosts are now going to be more annoying. I mean, so far, the game has been nice on... Oh, by the way, the types. We don't have our 90 here. So yeah, everyone has their own types. So that's important to keep note on. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna put the max value for Ray here, and I believe I'm going to keep it this way for the rest of the game, unless I have a reason to go higher. Maybe on the store, maybe on the sensitivity, maybe the range. But for the most part, max value... I'm not gonna max out the max value. I know it's kind of productive because of the name, but whatever. But, um... Yeah, at this point, the game's been more of a dick, because so far, every ghost has been dictated, essentially. Uh... At this point, though, the game is going to be throwing random ghosts at me quite a bit. So, I'm going to be on my toes throughout the entire bit of the game. Because the game's going to be an asshole. And we're going to have to do our best to not get fucked. It's going to be easier said than done. Luckily, we do have doors, but still. And before I go and save my game, there is a blue aura by that door, so I might take a picture of it and see what it is. Well, that's not ominous at all. So, next time on Fatal Frame 3, we're going to be doing this hour, and we're going to see just how fucked I can really get at this point of how hard the game is going to start being now. As if it wasn't hard enough already. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.